standing in uh, the reception area for 3D Cannabis Center. My name is Tony Fox and I'm the owner of the facility. Currently we're a medical marijuana center uh, with our cultivation facilities on site here at this location. It's, uh, it was a total of 10,000 square foot facility. Mm -hmm. uh, we just expanded another 8,000 next door. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a tour of uh, the facility as it is. And we're currently operating as a medical marijuana dispensary, meaning we service Colorado red card holders who have qualified for the registry. In approximately two months, January 1st of 2014, we'll be opening to the public. So all adults 21 and over will be able to come in and purchase cannabis at this facility. Mm -hmm. And so which stage is, this is the ultimate stage? You could call it the ultimate stage. Basically they have about two more, or I'm sorry, three and a half to four weeks left in their cycle. So they're in the second part of their life stage, but they're only about halfway through that. So it takes two months from the time you put a plant into bud to the time that it actually is ready to harvest. So these, these colas will become two to three times as big and much more weighty. So it's just a, it's definitely a process, um, but you can watch it. I mean, the, the thing about cannabis is that it grows so quickly that you can actually sit there and watch it grow. Really? Yes, especially if you're using cannabis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you are using cannabis. I do. I'm a, I'm a cannabis user. I'm called a habitual cannabis user because I use it uh, every day. I use it multiple times a day depending on how I'm feeling or what my needs are. Uh, sometimes I'll smoke it, sometimes I'll vaporize it, sometimes I'll eat it, sometimes I'll put it on my sore hands or my neck. Mm -hmm. There's just so many ways to consume it. So are you on cannabis right now? I would say yes. Even if I didn't test, uh, even if I hadn't smoked cannabis for days, I would still test over the legal limit of intoxication because it can THC is stored in your fat cells. So if you're a daily user, the legal limit is five nanograms. I'm sure I would test at 15 or higher, even yeah. if I hadn't used cannabis in 24 hours. Yeah, you don't look stoned to me. I don't feel stoned. I, I don't use cannabis to get stoned. I use cannabis to uh, alleviate stress, tension, to help me sleep, to help me relax. I also use strains of cannabis to help me focus and be creative. Uh, I don't use cannabis to get stoned. Most people in Colorado don't use cannabis to get stoned. We would be considered habitual users and we use it effectively throughout our day. Uh, and majority of us are not on pharmaceuticals of any kind, don't use alcohol. It's just our choice and our, our way to relax our bodies. Let's take a look at what we have here. Yes, so just on a variety, uh, average day we have between 15 and 20 different strains available. All different uh, families and names, sativas, indicas, hybrids. Uh, our average price on our cannabis currently is between $25 and $35 an eighth of marijuana, and that includes the sales tax uh, and specific strains for specific ailments. Mm -hmm. And how would that compare to the black market, for instance? It's about half. Mm -hmm. It's about half of what the black market is. Um, $50 to $70 an eighth is what it's going for on the black market. So basically what we're going to talk about right now is various ways that uh, we sell cannabis. Uh, the topical cannabis treatments are absolutely amazing uh, for so many reasons, but number one is there's no psychedelic high when you put a cannabis product on your body. So you can receive the pain benefits and all of the benefits from the cannabis, but no psychedelic high. Uh, there's products such as pain relief salve and bath salts. The bath salts are absolutely amazing. And what it does is it just gives you an all over body relief from pain, tension, you have the best night's sleep if you use a bath salt before bed. And then uh, also your edibles. Uh, there's so many various ways to consume cannabis uh, where you don't have to smoke it. And the beautiful thing about a regulated marijuana market is that everything's tested. So you know exactly what you're going to get every time you purchase that product. Uh, it's very, uh, very easy to medicate and to dose properly with these products because again, every product is tested by a licensed facility before it comes to our center. So for example, there are things such as lollipops <laughs> and sodas and chocolate 
chocolate bars that are absolutely incredible. Now, this particular chocolate bar has 300 milligrams of cannabis in it, so it's very, very potent. Mm -hmm. But again, it's going to be 300. And what does very, very potent mean? Actually? Very, very potent means you need a very, very small piece of this product to feel the effects of it. So uh, it's, it's something that you want to keep regulated, locked up. It's a medicine. It's a heavy medicine. And it's a sedative, definitely. Uh, an edible is going to help you alleviate pain, stress, allow you to sleep well. But really, it's all about taking the proper dosage.